Hey y'all, welcome to an extreme clean and declutter with me. So we're starting off by doing the laundry because if I don't get it done today, it's going to be put off till tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then we're going to start with the spring cleaning in the laundry area. And I'm also going to be decluttering and reorganizing our bedroom closet, which was a lot of fun and super satisfying i also mentioned in this video actually we chat a lot erin and i do um about halfway through the video about a product that i was sponsored to share and about a month after using it it malfunctioned so i definitely want to go over that Make sure y'all know which product it was, what brand it is, all those good things because I know we're just jumping right into this, but as a uh, content creator, especially when you do a paid promotion, it's really important that if that product ends up not working after you use it, it's really good to inform um, your viewers so that they know um, not to purchase it. So I will be letting y'all know which product it is. Um, and yeah, we'll just get all into that later, but I'm going to get the laundry finished. I want to thank y'all so much for being here today. I hope this video gives you all the motivation to do spring cleaning and decluttering and all that good stuff in your home. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy uh, today's video. If you like videos like this and you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. It is free. And I also wanted to mention y'all that I have memberships now. So memberships, uh, you can join. There's a little join button, but underneath the video by my name. And then also if you go to my channel, you'll see the join button underneath my profile picture. And it's 99 cents a month. And I will be posting these videos unlisted to my members only group and y'all will be able to watch them ad free until they go up uh, for everyone to watch for free. So that is all it is. So don't worry if you do not become a member, you are not missing out on anything. The only difference is um, the people that are members will be able to see videos like this a week in advance and without any advertisement on it. So there you go. I just wanted to share that and just know like you're not obligated at all. It's just an optional feature on YouTube and I figured I would just throw it up there in case anybody did want to support in other ways. And that's also why it's only 99 cents because I know things are expensive these days. So do not don't you dare feel obligated okay so as you can see my laundry area is a mess it's super cluttered i have way too many washcloths that i cannot even put them where they're supposed to go so the first thing i'm gonna do is wash the washing machine i try to do this once a month but i'm gonna be honest i have not done this in probably since november i think i did and i think i did a spring a spring clean clean quote unquote in November I like to do them in March and November y'all tell me when you do your deep cleaning but um I'm just throwing some baking soda in there I'm pretty sure that's what that was and half of a laundry detergent sheet and then I'm gonna go in organize this put this back away let that cleaning cycle run our washing machine actually has a clean cycle so I just put it on that and then I'm going to deep clean the rest of the laundry area and I'm gonna hush for a minute in case some of y'all like to enjoy the music and I will um, let you know what I'm doing as we're going so as of right now, I'm just decluttering, getting rid of anything and everything that we just really do not need and is taking up way too much space in our mobile home. I try to fix things that weren't broken, misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart and I won't dare to say. I don't wanna waste my time 
I got rid of one of my aprons and then I got rid of a ton of washcloths that way everything can just fit in that one bin and then I got rid of almost everything in that metal container you'll see a few things out here those um, that folder has a lot of mail in it that we need to go through so I can't get rid of that just yet but I'm also just putting things where they go my goal was to keep the washer and dryer completely clutter free because I noticed over time putting things on the dryer caused a lot of scratches and then those scratches created rust marks and I do not want my dryer to have rust all over it so um, it's best that I just keep that clear and not use it as a storage space because I do have this shelf up here so uh, I took down all of my bins and I'm just decluttering those getting rid of a steamer I plugged in these uh, little vacuum cleaners to charge I'm gonna keep the big one Aaron decided he wanted to keep the other one but he was gonna put it in his uh, vehicle so that works for me as long as it's not in the house I'm okay with it I think um, I may actually have one in my trunk of the car too but I'm just getting rid of a bunch of stuff like we had some car cleaning wipes that were completely dried out. So I went ahead and throw those away. Um, there was this uh, mildew spray bottle that didn't even work. So I threw that away. Getting rid of a lot. Not everything. <laughs> but um, more than half. I had a whole entire trash bag full of stuff to get rid of like to donate and then I had a pretty good size bag full of just trash period so now I'm taking the Mr. Clean Clean Freak y'all know I love that cleaner and I am using it on the washer and dryer and then I'm also going to sweep and mop the floor I also take my broom and just kind of sweep around the ceiling we have popcorn ceiling so Getting dust off the ceiling is not the easiest task, but um, it was really dusty up there in the corner, so I went ahead and got that done with my broom, and then I ended up mopping, and I used the Dollar Tree mop pads. They were okay, but um, they're really not that great. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely see now why, you know, Swiffer mop pads are to like $12 a container or and the Dollar Tree ones are $1.25 because there is a big difference but um that's all right I'm gonna keep using them maybe I'll change my mind but I think next time I may try a package that only has eight to ten wipes because I think those are thicker the ones I used kind of reminded me of um wet wipes like they were very thin so there wasn't a lot of moisture on them at all but I'm just, you know, getting everything cleaned up, kind of touching every corner, putting all my love and energy in it. A lot of y'all mentioned in the last video that we did like this that you do preventative cleaning. That's what y'all called it. And I love that term, which is where you clean before things get dirty um, or get messy that way it's just always stayed on top of so I am really working towards that because I am decluttering at the same time um, I feel like things are going to look bad before they look good so you may see like in a few areas of the house especially the kitchen I kind of brought all the things in that need to be getting rid of so I definitely need to take a trip to the trash place because we we have to take our trash um, recycle a bunch of stuff I need to go donate a bunch of stuff once all that's cleared out things are gonna look so much better in here I'm already you know being really a lot more appreciative of my space because things are feeling a lot more open and airy and there is just really nothing better than having a clean and a c comfortable environment for you to dwell in so 
Anyways, I'm super chatty today, um, but I, I noticed y'all really seemed to like the talking in the last Clean With Me Like This I did. So these are the Swiffer Wet things that I used from Dollar Tree. There's 20 in here, but they had other packets where there was 8 and 10. So I want to try those because I may, I may just like those better and then I, they're still a dollar 25 they're cost more per count of course but um i think the swiffer wet mops are eight to twelve dollars right now which is just a lot it's a lot and i don't even have to use them to be honest i can use um a old washcloth and stick that on my swiffer and then just make my own little mop spray. I can use Fabulous and water, spray it on the ground, and then just do my mopping that way. So that that's another alternative. And um, that in that case, I wouldn't even have to purchase the mop pad. So if you are curious, uh, that is definitely something you can do. I've done that before. I should probably get back into doing that because it saves a lot of money. And um, also I think it's just better for the environment probably. We never fall, could have tried much harder, all we have are scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven, you said we'd reach the stars. But look at us now, could have gone so far, it hurts to realize we're parted. And look at us now, this is who we are. feels so good to have all that clean. I probably should have done this before I wash my washing machine. Everything's a lesson learned, so I'll do that next time. This thing is disgusting. So I popped off the top of the agitator where you put the, um, oh my gosh, fabric softener. And I'm going to clean that. I'm also going to clean this little area right here. Just going to go in my vacuum. And, and then I'm going to use the... Mr. Clean spray with a uh, paper towel. And then I'm going to do the same thing with that agitator in the middle. I'm going to get that cleaned off. If you have a washing machine like mine and you have a hard time getting that thing off of the top, you have to, I put my fingers on the inside of the opening and then I just pull up as hard as I can because it just pops off. Mine does not spin. It just kind of snaps on and pops off. So if you're not able to get yours off and you've been turning it to the left, it's the lefty loosey, whatever. I still have to do that, y'all. I don't know my left or my right sometimes. Um, yeah, use, you know, just pop it off. This is dust that is on the door. And I'm using this little straw cleaner, this little brush. And I'm going in this little crack to get the dust out of there. So this is another area that um, we may forget it needs to be cleaned. Obviously, I forget because that is a load of dust. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, it felt I mean, it's really good that it's um, not dusty anymore. It got clean. But I'm going through and uh, getting all that off of there. It was kind of hard to get off because it's such a weird spot to be in. But who knew that the door hinge collects so much dust? It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't 
can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. So this area is not the easiest to clean either because of all the nook and crannies in it. So I'm going to show you all a little hack I used to get it as clean as possibly. Um, this I just sprayed and then I wiped it down with a sponge in the kitchen. So I'll show you all what that looks like when it's done. So at first I just went in with a paper towel, did some scrubbing. You can see how the dirt just comes right off. And um, then I took the same straw cleaner I used and it had a little hook on the other end of it like a circle so then I took the paper towel twisted it put it through the circle and then I was able to get in all these little holes and try to do the best that I can and I just want to encourage y'all like a spot in your home does not have to be spotless it if all you can do is get it to as clean as possible, then that is, that's good enough. Like, don't worry about trying to make it look brand new. Of course, like, it would be awesome if we could get it to look brand new, right? That's the goal. But don't feel like you need to spend an hour on this little tiny piece in your washing machine just to get it to look a certain way. Um done is better than perfect i don't know exactly who came up with that phrasing but it's a really good phrase to go by especially if you have ocd um i i don't have ocd now but when my anxiety used to be really bad ocd was kind of like a ripple effect and i i felt like i i started to get controlling and obsessive over certain things in my life like cleaning because it was something that I could I could control what I was doing so if you are experienced that too just remember done is better than perfect it's okay um and you know just I, I can't I, I can't be talking about people that have OCD because I'm not a doctor or a therapist or anything like that um, so I don't I don't know anything you know I'm just being very blunt with y'all um, so yeah I think I'm gonna leave it at that but if you do struggle with that I, I don't want you to feel like it's gonna make or break you if, if something does not look perfect just do the best you can and um, don't stress yourself out too much over it, which I know is easier said than done, but I'm just being a friend here and giving you a little bit of encouragement just so you know, like, it's okay. It is okay. We, we see it and we think that it is, um, really big and out of hand and we need to fix it. And, um, sometimes it's not even about the cleaning that we're trying to fix. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. So now we're in our bedroom and you can see it's just a bunch of stuff in here and 
I, um, I didn't, I got rid of a lot of blankets and it, I think Erin got rid of quite a few shoes. And then I had this little shoe organizer that I put together and put in here. So we're going to start working on the closet and then uh, we're going to take a little break and talk about that um, product that I would not recommend anymore and speaking of um, I don't mention this in the video itself but I'm gonna mention it now I'm going to make sure that the product I'm referring to is um, not on my Amazon storefront I'm also going to private that video where I showed the product just because in case somebody doesn't watch this video and doesn't get the update um, I don't want anybody to watch that video and then purchase the item and the funny thing is um, the brand itself is, is a good brand. I like the brand, but it's just this one specific product. Like the little handheld vacuum y'all saw me using is the same brand. And I love it. I would recommend that to anybody. <laughs> I'm flexing. Oh my goodness. Um, but the one product is like, oh no, it's terrible. <laughs> this right here. So you'll see me go to use it. And then uh, it just cut off. So then I ended up having to use... Uh, different vacuum cleaner. So this is a different one um, Because the, uh, we found out later on why it kept cutting off because I thought it just needed to be charged and the charger wasn't working um, But that was not the case. So all right I'm going to let the music play for a little bit and then we will talk in person We interrupt your broadcast for a special report. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm sure you've seen me in a couple of videos use this vacuum cleaner from Backlife. One, I was sponsored from them, remember, like months ago, to do this. Uh, they have sponsored so many of my videos. I love their little handheld vacuums. You saw me use it in the washing machine. Um, this, however, is uh, their. It's the only. It's the only uh, cordless vacuum cleaner they have. It's really neat that it has the battery right here um, that you can pop off and stuff. And it was really cool that it stands up on its own because a lot of cordless vacuums just don't do that. But down there, the reason why this kept turning off after I charged it multiple times 
and it turns off like after a few seconds. It's because the the thing that the ro this roller goes on to make it spin melted. So it does not spin. I went to look at the Amazon reviews, the wood two star reviews. Multiple people had the same problem, and then a ton of people's complaints was that it stopped charging. When really, the char there's nothing wrong with this part of it. So it's fine, like if you just use the stick portion. But this is no good. And it sucks because like I really like this. This is the easiest roller I've ever had like just pop off and be able to clean. Other ones it's so hard to get it to come off of there. But if it doesn't spin, it can't it can't do anything. And I only use this I don't know, maybe a couple weeks before uh, one day I used it and it smelled like burning hair and it must have been the plastic melting so either they have an overheating problem and then it just melts and won't spin or there's not enough power to get this to spin and it causes friction I don't think it's that I think it's just I think it's a bad design yeah it's either the motor is too small overheating yeah or the way they or the way that they designed the piece that makes the roller spin they either designed it to where it's building up heat and then melting to the plastic that's behind of it yeah so it's one or the other and they they specialize in making like i showed you all that small one so i have this one this is amazing i love this thing i would recommend this I don't recommend that. That's why I'm making this entire point. I'm so embarrassed that I promoted it, got paid to promote it, and then it only lasted like maybe a month before it's just needs to be recycled. Because I, I really, it's too, it takes up too much space for me to justify just keeping it for the, the top of it, you know? Because I have other vacuums. That I can do that with. This is the other one. And um, it worked good. And then they upgraded it to that one. So they make really good little handheld handheld vacuums. But cordless vacuum. I don't know. I would just honestly. I will probably never again. Promote a brand new product. If they have not already made one. And it done really well. I cannot do their little guinea pig run because that's what I did. That's the first time they ever came out with a cordless vacuum cleaner. So I guess the lesson for them is, you know, maybe stick with what you're good at. Ah, do I don't quality know. Control. Yeah. Because, oh, and that's the other thing. So I saw some reviews and people were saying that all they needed was a new a replacement yeah. of that yeah, and i'm this, thinking this this right here just, yeah. co just comes off yeah so they, i'm thinking if just... the company is not going to send people a replacement of that then it probably means that they don't intend on fixing it any yeah this is the piece that's okay. this is what makes the roller spin this side just sits it just sits there it just holds it still yeah but this is um let me focus on There's that. a whole bunch of plastic you, in there. Let me focus on this real quick. Okay, y'all see where it's uh, fused together, where it's melted? That will not move. He's already tried to ply it apart and everything, and it just I took it the won't. screws out of it. Yeah. I took the screw out, and then I have took pliers and tried to pull on it. I've tapped it with a hammer. Yeah. So if you purchase this because you watched my video i am so sorry um it's a lesson for me for sure um not that i even do a lot of sponsorships anymore anyways but it's a it sucks that i sold y'all something that i'm now unhappy with which means some of you may be unhappy but i the best thing to do is to just be like Sorry, but it would be fun if if they sent out the replacement piece like an yeah. updated piece that 
And maybe they have for some people, but the one person that left a review said that they, they were, they didn't do anything. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. So, I think if you're going to come out with a new product, you should expect people, I would expect that some may have flaws, because you need, but you also should probably just test out the product for a long period of time before you put it for sale because hey it was two hundred dollars and it now it's only a hundred bucks it's half off probably because there's a lot of complaints because um most people are not realizing that it's the it's the roller down there and they're just saying the battery is not charging so it's frustrating <laughs> because i really liked parts about it like it it has a little thing where you can make it shorter if you want to. Like, there's a bunch of good parts, but the main function of it that you need doesn't function. <laughs> so, it's not worth your money. I'm sure you could go to Walmart and get a cordless vacuum for also $100. That works a lot better. Anyway. So, I'm using my little Aspirion, which is probably 200 something dollars but you know it works there's a, there's a oh my gosh yeah people love it yeah people love it. There's sharks a good a thing bolt it uses the same drill like same battery as the drill and if it goes dead you can just pop the battery out and put another one just keep popping batteries in it if you're using it for like uh you know big jobs or yeah or something or if you're, you're just one of those people that just have a bad habit of charging stuff me that's why the orange one is is blinking on one but that thing holds its battery like crazy it just doesn't come out of the thing you have to plug it up multiple batteries and they're always charged up you can just pop the battery out and pop one in yeah oh well i don't know it's frustrating i don't want to do that I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, they should make it right for everybody. They should, but I'm not... I, I left a review. I said, um, I've been sponsored by y'all. You're really good at making handheld vacuums. But you need to work on the cordless one. And then I explained what happened. And then I promoted this to my viewers. And now I'm embarrassed because, you know, it hurts me. If something I promote is not actually that great. And I really liked it. Until I did it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's actually the first for me. That's the first product that I have promoted that ended up being something that I should not have promoted. But, like, you never, you don't know until it's, you know, until you know. So... It happens, I guess. Anyways, now I'm going to get back to the regularly <laughs> scheduled program. But, um, yeah, I just, I had to come on here and do an apology. Even though it's not my fault, but I just feel bad if y'all spent your money on it and if something like that happened to yours. Um, also, if you bought it and it hasn't happened yet, I would just probably take out the roller and just check and make sure um it just looks normal so that it doesn't happen but also like i don't even i didn't even run it that long that's the thing it's not like it's a corded vacuum that lasts for an hour of all day vacuuming like, like it they, shouldn't have heated up like that i feel like if they would have put i don't know like a spacer yeah, it's really crowned in there. Like a spacer between the plastic. Yeah. Or, or maybe use plastic that's not easily melted. A bowl. I don't know. Or don't use plastic at all. I don't know. I loved how quiet it was. I loved how lightweight it was. It's a bummer, for real. But, yeah. I do not recommend the Vac Life cordless vacuum cleaner i don't care that they paid me i'm sorry vac life it's not good 
fix it. That's my, that's all, that's all I can say. It's not good. Not good. Very frustrating. Makes me feel bad for anybody that's like, con I've charged this thing for three days in a row and tried to use it and be like, what is going on? I even cleaned the roller out and put it back and I'm like, no. So, it happens. Okay, I bet I'm boring y'all at this point. If I had the chance, I'd probably break free. I could have my weights and I could let it be. I could do what I want, but it's just an illusion, illusion. Yeah, I sometimes feel like I can go up. I'm drinking beer right out my coffee cup. I want to do what I want. It's just an illusion, illusion. Try to come around, but I know it's going to take a while. So what? I want to hang with my friends. So what? I want to go out. using this one to put all my sheets in and those blankets that you see on the side I left out I'm going to get rid of those I have a lot more blankets to go through in other areas of the house that I'm going to get rid of as well because I just realized I have way too many for the size house that we have this is what the bottom of the closet floor looks like so much better um, I may come up with a different solution for that one bag that I have hanging in the closet because I feel like it's too heavy um but everything's clean and you can see where everything is now nothing's kind of piled on each other i'm getting rid of all of this stuff except for my dust mop that y'all just saw and then erin threw away a bunch of shoes but i hope y'all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i will be back here on this channel on tuesday for another one just like this so i will see you back then bye